let's just get the obvious out of the way. Do we see this? What? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexa. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. Let me just put my hair back. Whatever. So I already have my makeup done because I just finished a meeting. So now I'm going to take everything off because after this I'm going to go work out. And you should always take your makeup off before you work out because then that makeup clogs up your pores. So this is what I do. I like to use this to remove my makeup. And then I also use this by Tatcha to remove the waterproof mascara that I have on. So let's get into that. Roll my sleeves up a little. I just do like this, about one pump of the Tatcha oil. And then I just rub that around my eyes. Being very gentle on the eyes as I'm rubbing this off. Okay, now we're gonna go in. We're gonna put, I just use a little cotton pad like this. These are premium ovals. <laughs> I just get this brand from Walmart. And then what I'm gonna do, there's a soft side and a more rough side. I like to put the remover right on the rough side. Just get it a little bit wet, and then I start going in and taking off my makeup. I wait until the end to do my eyes because my eyes are really sensitive. Again, being very gentle when I do this. I know it looks like I'm pressing hard, but I'm doing it so delicately. And there's our final product. So now what I do after this is I go in and I cleanse my face. So I am going to go over to the sink and do that. What I use first is just a Dove bar soap. I put it in my hands and wash my face. Then I'll show you the products that I use after that in a minute. So I just finished washing my face off with the Dove soap. And then what I use next is this. This is what I use as my cleanser and it's fragrance free. So it's really good for people that have sensitive skin like me. So I'm going to show you what I do. But again, I'm going to go to the sink and then I'll come back. So this is a foaming cleanser. I use this little brush here. It's just something that you get from Ross or TJ Maxx. I never use the bristle part because it's too rough on the skin. So I just use this, I don't know what you call this, like a rubber or something. I just put two pumps of this on. And then once my face is damp, I rub it around and I scrub my face. And then after I've done that, I wash it off with warm water. And then I use this. This is also by Aveeno. It's a toner. I don't know if you're supposed to go in with this type of toner right after cleansing your face, but this is just what I do. <laughs> so while I'm washing my face after I use the cleanser, I use one pump of this on the same brush. And then I just take this and I rub it around my face. Once all of that is done and I've dried off my face completely, and I'll put a mask on. This is the mask that I really like to use. You can get it at Ulta. It's called the Berry Clear Illuminating Peel Mask. This will get you glowing. And we all know that I'm all about the glow. <laughs> so if you need a good glow, go and purchase this. Before we put the mask on, I'm going to put these little jellies underneath my eyes. Again, I got these at Ulta. I'm not really brand loyal to these under eye masks, but... 
you, they have a bunch of them. I think it was like a dollar, maybe two dollars. So I'll pop those on and then we'll put on our mask. Dripping in gold, baby. So this is the little tool that I'm gonna use to apply my mask quickly. This is what it looks like when it comes out. It's very jelly, and then I just put a generous amount around my face. So we'll do that and come right back. Okay, so we have our mask on. I'm gonna wait about 15 or 20 minutes until it sets on my face. You'll know that it's ready to come off because you won't be able to move your face, you won't be able to stretch it. And then after that, I'm just gonna peel it off. So I'll come back and I'll show you that step next. So it's been about 15 or 20 minutes. As you can see, I can barely move my face. So I'm gonna take these guys off and we're gonna remove the mask. Carol Baskin. Snake. Okay, so I still have a couple little pieces around as you can see. What I like to do after is take a towel or a washcloth and I run it under some warm water and then I'll remove the excess of the mask from my face. So I have my towel here that's damp and I'm just going to go in and just gently rub it off. After that, I just take the dry end of the towel and I just pat my face dry. Now we're going to move on to our next couple of steps. I have some Vaseline. I'm just going to put on my lips. And now we're going to move on to the fun stuff. So I really don't want wrinkles. <laughs> I still have young skin and I want to keep it that way. So I have this little bottle from my dermatologist. It's actually tretinoin cream. So they just make a compound in their doctor's office. So I just put about this much on and I rub it all over my face. It's just a preventative from wrinkles. This cream is really drying, so I like to go in immediately with oils on top of it. So what I first start with is this vitamin E oil. This is really good if you have dark spots, but for me, I like to use it because my skin is so dry. And I just put a dollop, a dollop in my hand, and then I make sure that I rub my hands together to warm it up first before I put it on my face. Once it's all warmed up, I just pat it into my face. Down my neck. And then I just like to rub it in. Then I go on top with my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. This is what I used in my last video as my moisturizer. It's very thick, so it's good for me because I have dry skin. You just put a couple of dabs on, and then I rub that in as well. All right, now we're moving on to our next step. So I like to go in with an eye cream. This is the eye cream that I use. And I just put one or two little dabs. A little goes a long way. This much. And then I go underneath my eyes like this. And then right on top of the lid. And I just take my ring fingers and gently rub it in. This is probably my favorite part of the routine because it feels so relaxing to take a nap after doing this. <laughs> a 
Okay, and then once all of that is rubbed in, lastly, I like to go in with any castor oil. This is the one that I'm using right now. And so I just put a couple of drops, not even a couple of drops. I just go over my eyebrows like so. Castor oil is supposed to make them grow and I've been trying to grow my eyebrows for the longest but they just won't budge. <laughs> so I rub this in on my eyebrows, rub it in really good. I lay them down and then whatever I have left on my fingers, I just like to blink and put it on my eyelashes. And that's it. We're done. That's the end of my skincare routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I hope that you found some new products that you'd like to go try out. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite product is or what's something that I should try out in my skincare routine. I'll see you in my next video.